Giovanni Pernis's former Strictly partner Laura Whitmore has broken her silence after the results of the Amanda Abington probe were released. On Sunday night, the professional dancer who worked on the BBC show for almost a decade before quitting broke his silence after being cleared of allegations made against him on Strictly. The Italian dancer took to social media to say he is glad it's over. Sharing a clip on Instagram, the 34-year-old star admitted the last six or seven months have been tough as he was unable to respond because I wanted to keep the confidentiality and privacy of the review. After six months of investigating Amanda Abington's claims, bosses ruled the Italian dancer was not physically abusive. However, Amanda's complaints about verbal bullying and harassment were upheld. Out of a total of 16 allegations against Pernis, six were upheld. Some of those included Giovanni using swear words. The report said the dancer's language could be belittling towards his partner. Following the report findings, the BBC apologized to former contestant Amanda Abington, confirming it had upheld some, but not all, of the complaints made. Now Giovanni's former Strictly Come Dancing partner Laura has broken her silence. The former Love Island host, 39, who was partnered with the Italian dancer back in 2016, was one of the stars who spoke to the BBC as part of the investigations after what she described as his inappropriate behavior on the show. Laura claimed she first raised concerns back in 2016, and in August 2024, she accused the BBC of gaslighting her over her experience with the Italian dancer. Taking to her Instagram stories after the probe verdict, Laura wrote, I hope this helps people realize they should not be subjected to abusive behavior in the workplace. Things can be twisted online and there's so much more to this, but in black and white there were complaints upheld and an apology made, and the perpetrator no longer works for the channel. When Amanda came out with her allegations against Giovanni earlier this year, Laura was one of the first people to publicly support the Sherlock actress as she shared her own experience. At the time, she took to Instagram to recount her time on the show being partnered with Giovanni. In the lengthy Instagram post, she wrote, I was trying not to comment on recent press speculation until the BBC review is complete, but feel there is a lot of misinformation in the press, and I want to help and show support by setting the record straight. I was asked to speak to the BBC along with six people that I know of who deserve anonymity as they don't want to be dragged through the press about inappropriate behavior they experienced similar to mine with the same individual. I initially raised concerns back in 2016. I thought my experience was specific to me, but I've since learned I was wrong. The aim of this is to show a pattern of behavior that I believe needs to stop. My evidence is to support other people's experience. It's a shame it takes this for someone to be heard. The former Love Island host went on. I am not looking for anything just an acceptance that what happened to me in the rehearsal rooms during my time on BBC Strictly was wrong and that it won't happen to anyone else again. Because I have not made an official complaint and am providing evidence of my experience to support the investigation, not all the communication will be passed on to all parties involved. Misinformation is being put into the press, so I want to set the record straight. Victim blaming must stop or we will never get better. I've tried to speak up in the correct way. I know the BBC and all outlets continue to do their best to be better, but for that to happen, we must speak up.